This was another. This was another skid that I. So we're gonna we're gonna look here and see what we got going on here. And see they're putting what we call burk on between the frames here. I always cut that out because if you don't it's gonna be hard for you to manage your hive. It just makes it tough to pull frames out and keep that cleaned up and they'll quit doing it. So, outside frame, let's see what we got here. There's some cat brood here that was from that I put in when I done the split. So you can see majority of it's hatched out and then they're back filling in with honey. So they still have a little bit here, you know. Now the reason I know this is still from because this it hasn't been enough time for the for the queen for them to make a queen and her hatch and lay mm -hmm. eggs and then for there to be brood so if you study your timeline on from egg you know from egg to when it when it's capped over from when they hatch then you if you understand your timeline and then you'll be able to know that your timeline is very important A lot, of honey, a lot of honey on this frame. No eggs. You can see, uh, this is what I was talking about on the, just cut that off. Well, no evidence of a queen yet. Yeah. All honey, no word for a, no word for a queen to lay on these frames. So. This frame has several queen cells on it. But there's three queen cells there. I see larvae in that one.
I'll give these a little bit more time. I'll give them a, about, most of the time a queen cell will be capped in roughly nine days, give or take a little bit. So it's about halfway. So I could come back in about, we'll say three or four days and then see if it's completely capped. And uh, then I know that there was a viable larvae in it and if not I'll have enough time to to pull this queen cell from this other one and put it here so that's why it's important to have multiple hives because you'll need your other hives to su help support each other especially when you're first starting out with splits you got to be able to have the bees and the resources to move around to help one another out but once you once you get them once you get them queen right then it'll be all downhill from there it's just that original time frame to get a queen you know I mean you know if you've done a split and it didn't take I mean you could always buy a queen if you wanted to I just personally don't really buy queens, and I mean, if I had to, I would, or if I had a, a reason that I need, you know, needed something really quickly or something, but most of the time, I have enough time to, to raise my own, and it makes it more challenging, not that beekeeping's not challenging enough by itself, but. I just like to do it that way. And then I know they are good to go. So right now I'm gonna say this one's queenless. I'm glad you stopped by to watch our videos. Like, subscribe. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.